Hello, Marquette University, class of 2020. While I would have much rather delivered these words to you in person at a commencement ceremony with your family and friends' presence, I am no less honored and pleased to congratulate you on successfully completing your Marquette experience. You've earned this. It is an uncertain time for everyone, making these first few months after graduation particularly challenging. Fortunately, though, through your Marquette education, you developed the grit and innovative spirit to meet the world head on, to accept and conquer whatever unique obstacles it presents, today's challenges are merely tomorrow's triumphs. Please know how proud I and the entire Marquette community are of you and all that you have accomplished and will accomplish. This fall, you will receive in the mail a commemorative program that includes your name as well as the names of your fellow Marquette University Class of 2020 graduates. This certainly does not replace the ceremony you deserve, but we hope it serves as a reminder of your achievement for you, your family, friends, and all those who supported you on your Marquette journey. Congratulations, Class of 2020. You have earned it. At this time, I'd like to introduce Marquette University President, Dr. Mike Lovell. Thank you, Provost Ayun. Normally, during our commencement ceremony, each college dean would present to me a scroll with the names of all of the degree candidates. The dean would then ask me to confer the degrees upon the candidates. While this is certainly not a normal year and there are no scrolls, I think you should still have the chance to experience the words you've been waiting your entire collegiate career to hear. Now, by the power vested in me by the state of Wisconsin and the trustees of Marquette University, and with the consent of the faculty, I hereby confer upon students of Marquette University whose names have been presented by their schools and colleges, the degrees and certificates to which they are respectively entitled. Congratulations. I thank you for ever becoming part of our university. I hope that you've been transformed by your Marquette education and guided by our university's mission. Now that you are graduates, I ask three things of you. First, follow in the spirit of St. Ignatius and Father Marquette to be problem solvers and explorers. Next, no matter how far away life takes you, please know you will always have a home at Marquette University. Stay engaged and let us know how you're doing. Nothing makes us prouder than to hear how you're being positive agents of change in the world. Remember that you are not leaving Marquette, you are taking Marquette with you as you start a new chapter in your life. Finally, when considering the road that you will follow in life, please make decisions by taking into account where your God-given talents will make the biggest impact on the lives of others. Remember that fame, wealth and power can be taken away in an instant and that true fulfillment occurs when you make the world a better place. Thank you for all you have done for Marquette University. May God bless the Marquette University class of 2020. I would like now to introduce your student speakers. Mumul Tunio, followed by Peter Borg. Hi, my name is Mumul Tunio and I'm graduating with a degree in biomedical sciences and a minor in Spanish for the health professions. My Marquette experience is ongoing, and I will begin my D1 year at the School of Dentistry this fall. Though celebrations must be held at a distance, we are able to concentrate on the matters closest to our hearts. We are able to process the love and heartbreak of our home and greatest teacher, and the moments of wisdom and naivety that come with it. Milwaukee continues to grace us with light and with darkness, through a global pandemic and through social movements. Our memories are so irrevocably intertwined in its history that we have become a part of it. Through my experiences in the city, at times I have found myself in her warm embrace of opportunity and community, and at others I have sat by his side and grieved. I have shared their laughter and tears, peace and pain. A home is not a home without these dichotomies and everything in between, and I am grateful to carry this lesson with me for the rest of my life. I have come to understand that there are no bounds to experience, especially in education. It does not begin and end within a certain time frame or simply exist in a vacuum somewhere on West Wisconsin Avenue. Learning is an ongoing process and we must remember to continue cultivating the seeds that we have sown on this native land. Distance allows us to reflect on our accomplishments and more clearly see the shortcomings in ourselves as well as our systems and institutions. Sometimes in order to become stronger and whole, 
it is necessary to break. Brokenness does not inherently imply weakness. On the contrary, the willingness to rebuild and grow through adversity is the greatest reflection of strength. Strength entails staring straight into the eyes of our weaknesses and wrongdoings and making the active choice to do better. Class of 2020, we must actively choose strength. For Milwaukee, for our black and brown brothers and sisters, and for our future. With a heart that is both broken and full of hope, I wish you the best of luck. Congratulations, thank you, and keep fighting. Hello, Marquette University Graduate School 2020 graduates. Welcome to the commencement ceremony you never imagined when you began your graduate studies. I am Peter Borg. I graduated with a doctorate in American history. My dissertation investigated the response of Milwaukee's white Protestant churches to the widespread initial arrival of African Americans into previously all white neighborhoods between 1945 and 1980. As a historian, I know that extraordinary circumstances provide individuals with a unique opportunity to affect great change, or in Marquette speak, to be the difference. We've graduated into uncertain times. The global pandemic has given people the time and space to recognize the need for a long overdue national reckoning about the devastating consequences of past and present racism. That gives each of us a chance to harness the passion that led us to attend graduate school and the expertise we've gained while here to live and work for others. If your degree is in the natural sciences or biomedical engineering, you can work on vaccine creation or use your scientific understanding to improve processes for patient care and recovery, or simply create the technology that allows those improvements to occur. Social scientists, you can seek to better understand why COVID-19 disproportionately harms minority communities and then devise possible solutions to address inequity, not just in healthcare, but also in education, business, and housing, to name a few possibilities. Humanists, we have the potential to not only understand how the scourge of racism has affected every facet of national life, but also to creatively educate the nation about that awful reality and then point people to a more just national future. Whatever your passion, whatever your expertise, the nation and the world need us to be the difference. Let's go be it. Thank you. Thank you, Mumal and Peter, and thank you, President Lovell. In closing, I want to say thank you for making Marquette a better place. Thank you for making each other better. And thank you for your lifelong commitment to be the difference. As always, remember, you are Marquette. Congratulations again, class of 2020.